Hey everybody, it's John Brodian with Berkshire Halfway. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about whether it's better to buy versus rent. So contrary to what you might expect a realtor to say, it's not always better to own over renting. Uh, there are scenarios where it's more financially responsible to rent instead of buy, and we're gonna be covering those first. So the first question you really need to ask is, are you committed to living in the house for at least four to five years? If you value flexibility and being able to move to a new apartment or even a new city whenever you want, um, it's going to be better for you to rent. This is the most important factor when deciding to buy or rent. Because if you only live in a home for a couple of years, you might not even build up enough equity uh, to be able to cover the closing costs needed to sell, let alone being able to make a profit on the house. So the wealth building power of home ownership happens over the long term. It takes time for the market to go up and for your home to rise in value. It also takes time for all those mortgage payments to add up until you've built up a big chunk of equity in your home through paying down the loan. So unless you get really lucky with your timing, you won't benefit from equity through market appreciation and definitely not equity through loan pay down if you buy a home and you try to sell it shortly after. So the downside of renting versus buying is when we look at the long term picture. Rents increase slowly over time and so do home prices. Uh, but if you buy a house, this works in your favor. If you're renting, this works against you because you keep paying higher and higher rent for the same type of apartment without anything to show for it. So if you would have bought a home and stayed in it for seven years, your mortgage payment would have stayed the same uh, over those whole seven years if you used a fixed rate mortgage and your home would have gone up in value. You'd have equity from paying down your loan and from your home being worth more than when you originally bought it. Plus, your monthly housing cost hasn't gone up over the last seven years like the renter's housing cost has, um, so you've been able to save more of your income. Um, so there are a lot more factors when deciding to buy or rent than this. This is really just a basic overview. So if you'd like me to take a look at your situation and tell you what might be best for you in more detail, reach out to me. I'd love to help. Again, this is John Brodine with Berkshire Hathaway. Thanks for watching.